Hi, good morning, good evening to all of you wherever you are. In today's video, I'm going to talk about how to handle difficult stakeholders. Now, it is not likely that in every project you are going to get stakeholders who are difficult. This happens occasionally, maybe 10% of the cases or so. But when you encounter such stakeholders, it provides a very difficult situation for you and you have to handle it carefully. Whether you are a project manager or a business analyst, you have to look at the scenario and react in such a way that this situation can be handled smartly. So, what are the different scenarios in which a stakeholder can become difficult to handle? So, scenario number one. A stakeholder can be non-cooperative or will not support you in case the stakeholder thinks that he or she had given a reasonable doubt on the project or the project which all of you are doing that it is not going to help solve the problem which the business is trying to solve. So in that stakeholder's mind, they are correct. They have a valid point not to continue with the project. But the organization decided to still go ahead. So they are not happy with it. In that case, even if you don't know, but your first step should be to go and talk to the stakeholder to understand, try and establish a contact outside the working environment to figure out. Maybe you can catch up with him in a canteen or you can formally ask that person for a 10 minute audience and see if you can read his mind. If the reason for that person's non-cooperation is valid and you still you also agree that yes this is a valid point then there are two ways to handle it one you can suggest that we are considering this point as a risk and we are putting a mitigation plan in action so that whatever his doubts are if he or she turns out to be right the project will not get negatively impacted or project will be able to achieve the desired object so the second option which is when you are not able to handle the issue by using the risk mitigation plan is to take it to the sponsor or to a decision making authority. Typically these authorities are pre-decided for every project. In that case, that stakeholder will be able to take a call what to do in this case. And that obviously will be acceptable to even that stakeholder because they are part of the organization and they must be lower down in the hierarchy than the sponsor. Now, what is the second scenario in which the stakeholder is non-cooperative? It could be related to issues of ego amongst the stakeholders in the department or in the organization. It could also be related to the rivalry between the stakeholders and also it could be possible that the stakeholder has decided to quit and so there is no interest left. Now all these scenarios are purely human and it's very unlikely that if you go and try to talk one on one, you may not be able to get it. So you have no option but to again escalate it to the sponsor because this is going to hamper your project if the stakeholder is important. So you can take it to the stakeholder, uh, sponsor rather, to get it sorted. Now these are tricky situations and there is no one fixed formula to, to resolve this. But in most of the cases, the idea here is that you are giving a formal response to the situation rather than you yourself getting involved in an emotional or an egoistic response. That would be pretty bad for your project. Alright, so I hope you get some idea about how to respond to these tricky situations. Thanks for watching this video. If you like the video, please subscribe to Tech Canvas channel and also hit the like button. Thank you.